Hey guys, this is Fault Kid, and welcome to a, um, a movie review, which, yes, I did say I was going to make a talk about a video from, like I said, from my last video, but apparently, I have to make a uh, review, just a quick review. It's probably going to be a long review, though, but you'll, but you'll see, probably, but anyway. Um, now, um, what am I going to, how am I supposed to start? Oh, yeah. Um, we're, we're about to watch a movie, so... Hey, I was thinking, why not watch the the re live live action of the Little Mermaid remake? So, so we watched it, and you know, and my mom, my mom, my grandma, we both and I, we both quite liked it. But yeah, we watched it together, and even my brother says he liked it because he, my brother went, one of my brothers, my oldest brother, he went and saw saw it in theaters. You know, he said he quite liked it, but um, I don't know about my other two brothers. I don't know if my sister seen it though, but. Yeah, but no, I didn't saw it in theater, so I just didn't have a chance. So I, I just watched it on Disney Plus instead, though. But I don't know. I, I could have saw I could have saw it on the big screen, but I just didn't. I just didn't have a chance. So, but uh -oh. let me get my pack on. There we go. Yeah, I actually quite like. I actually quite like this movie, though. It's a really great, or not great, but it's a. I honestly, that was a good remake, though. I will say. But first off, let me get to the plot. Now the plot. Up and up, we got um, we got um Ariel, the the main mermaid. Of course, we all know who she is. You know, um, you know, and her and the, the fish Flounder. Um, yeah, Flounder. Um, once the pirate, once that ship, um, that ship that's been underwater, she found a telescope, and they've been attacked by the sharks, so they all got out. Then um, and then the uh, her father, King. Trit what was his name? Tr Triton? Yeah, Triton. I I'll have to explain about it when I get done with this plot. Now, King Triton, you know, you know, just tells her, you know, about not, not, not um, meeting a human and stuff. But um, you know, of course we got um, um, let's see, we got um, Ursula, the um, this octopus woman, or mer octopus. I don't know how you say it, but um. Anyway, yeah, she's turned her to a human and took away her voice and yep, and you know she well I mean there's a ship, you know, being attacked though in the first off, but then she saved the saved the prince, uh, named Eric. So she saved Eric and um you know okay, that's before that. But now after that, after she turned to a human, you know, she she been picked up by the um fish the fisherman um, you know, so, and then, um, then she'd been taken in, she took, she taken to the castle, she'd been dressed up pretty good, and, um, you know, cleaned the seaweed and stuff, you know, you know, her and Eric went out, and, um, they both had really great fun, though, and then, you know, <laughs> and then the next morning, we got, um, um, we got the, uh, we got, um, Arzilla, yeah, uh, what was her name? I forget, um, Urzula, Ur I forget what the villain name, but yeah, Urzula, she was a human, you know, she, um, took her voice, you know, and, I mean, the, her voice, the, um, uh, aerial voice is in her necklace, you know, yeah, necklace, and then, um, Ariel stopped, um, or, um, Urzul, um, uh, hold on, Urzula, yeah, stop Urzula and the, took the necklace, destroyed it, and, the, and then Ariel, uh, Ariel got her voice back. So, and then she's been taken by um Urzul, um uh, Urzul, Urzul I, I forget though. I'm sorry, I forgot what the villain name. But yeah, yeah, she, she's been taken by her. And then, and then the king, which was her father, she, the king, him the staff to, um to um, uh, Urzula and and the father gets gets kind of center or not center right but this is another thing besides that but anyway she he kind of get destroyed and then Ariel um um took the ship you know and stabbed the and it stabbed uh, Urzula it killed her so and then and then the king brought back um and told her that you, that told her that she get to go she get to be free you know 
So the king set um, Arya free to be uh, together with Eric, and it's got a happy ending. So, yeah, I'm not going to get to a lot of plot details with it, but what do I think of it, you guys? Um, believe it or not, um, I mean, you can complain all you want, though, but I personally thought it was a pretty good remake, in my, in my opinion. But I'm really sorry to say this. I know if people didn't like this remake, then that's perfectly fine. I... I, I have nothing against you, and I trust me. I, I understand why. So, I mean, but but I don't know. But there's no reason to you know be mean to other people for liking a certain kind of movie like this. I mean, first of all, I on Demon R, I got called. I mean, called. I I got called just a like a soul, like a souls for liking the Owl House. I'm sure, pretty sure there's some other, other YouTubers has this, but I don't know if some other YouTubers has, but per, per people has, you know, you know, has that or not. But anyway, yeah, I mean, at least the Owl House, at least that show got a high rating, so, but it built a number of fans, but, but apparently, um, The Little Mermaid didn't, I, or let me look, hold on, let me look and see how, how Rotten Tomatoes, um, 67%, that's not too bad, I mean, if you ask me. And it's got a seven seven point two nine on ninety B, which is which is not bad, which is not not it's not great or good though, but I mean it's still pretty good though. It's not it's not that bad of a rating in my in my mind. I think yeah, the, the movie came out back in May, so I personally I honestly thought it was a pretty good remake in, in my in my mind. I mean. I also people that I knew someone that I knew who thought it was a good remake, and I do too though, I'm really sorry to say this, but um if you don't like the Little Mermaid remake, like I said before, that is a hundred percent fine and I respect your opinion. I mean and there's like I said, there's a um there's like a yeah, I know there's hate for why this movie got hate of the trailer, there's a bunch of complaints. First off, um, Haley ba um, Bailey is it Haley Haley Bailey? I think it was Haley Bailey, Bailey. I think it was if if I'm did say it right or wrong. I think I think she I think she did a pretty pretty good and not a bad job in my mind. I mean, of course, people it just caused a bunch of racism, you know, racism, you know, uh, complain just because people are different color or not. Oh, she ain't being this because she, she's not same same you know race as the one from the the original so freaking what i mean people you know different a different race they they could play whatever they want as long, as long as they do a good job though i don't i don't even care though i mean i don't care if, if people are in a different skin playing the playing strip moves or not i mean like i said as long as they do a good job hold on what about I don't know, what about Jeffrey Wright, who plays Commissioner Gordon in front of the Batman, with Robert Pattinson? I mean, what about that in my example? Sorry, I turned my camera off because my dog's chewing her toy. Yeah, that's why you hear it squeaking, but... Back in your tissue, probably going to keep squeaking there, chewing, playing with it, but anyway. Yeah, what, like I said before, what about Jeffrey Wright, who played Commissioner Gordon from the last year's Batman movie, with Rob, you know, with him in it? Him and Robert Pattinson that came out last year? What about him in my example? I mean, he's. Well, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to, a video cause a lot much of. I don't. Know, I don't know. But you know what? I, well, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't want to say it. But. But um, yeah. I. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What about him? In my example. But now you're gonna complain about um Haley Bailey for playing um Ariel from The Little Mermaid. That's I man. That's freaking ridiculous. I mean, man. I understand that though, but it's a it's a remake, okay? It's a freaking remake, okay? I mean, what else can you complain? I mean, gee. I mean, it's your opinion. I mean, go ahead. I mean, I'm not stopping you. They can hate or, or like or love whatever they want. I don't care. It's their opinion. I mean, of course, I get people have their own opinions. Except the one problem that I've seen people like Nerdwire. I mean, she... For I don't like, for, I mean, I respect her opinion on on a show that I, that I do like from Wonder Bros, but apparently she, she just told people not to hunt down, hunt down the shows like this, like by saying that you, yeah, I don't recommend this, you know, when it's when it's a 
underrated show and it has potential, you know? And complain why people like it so much or why I like about it. That's why I got mad about it and make a rant video and I just had to took the video down because of that, you know? Ended up making a poll and I had to make a apology video, which is the right thing to do. And I ended up making a, a story video how I messed up with, on by making a bad video about Nerdwire. I know how I was. I don't want to get to it though, but I don't want to go into a lot of details. But anyway, but yeah, I I don't know. If there's some movie critics that like or don't like the Little Mermaid remake. I'm not sure though. I have to look back up though. I mean, it, at least it got a decent percent on Rotten Tomatoes. As far as I can say, which is not not bad though, but overall, for what I like about the movie, I think um, um, Haley Bailey's voice it's not that bad though. I didn't think it was that bad sound looking, and the the I mean the beautiful backgrounds of water animation or CG looks great in my in, in, yeah it looks great though. It looks so beautiful to look at, you know. I mean yeah, there's certain I mean yeah, there's other remakes that is come that's already been out for Disney though which I'm not sure if I'm gonna like or not but but I don't know at least there's cart a certain cartoon that I like nowadays like from the 2020 decade which is from Disney but there's other ones I never watched those that I had no interest with though but um except I also have no interest with um Haley's on it the new cartoon show I don't know if I have I don't I don't think I I don't really have positive I'm not, I'm not too positive or have, I don't know if I, I just don't know if I have interest with the new cartoon show called Haley's on it whatsoever. I'm not sure. I mean, I do have, the, I do have interest with the new Superman sh cartoon anime show called My Adventures with Superman. Well, it's not from Disney though, but still. So, which I think I'm pretty much just like an adult show or something, but, um, so, um, uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, you guys. I think that's pretty much it though i know there's a, a remake that i like or don't like like i i know i don't like the latin remake i i'm probably not gonna like the the jungle, jungle book remake whatsoever i used to like it a lot back then but now nowadays i probably not like it no more but um it's probably gonna be a rant probably i will guarantee but uh if i review some disney movies i will have to but the lion king remake i, I actually still like though i just don't I don't I don't really mind this remake at all though I, I I like the Lion King remake I like the Dumbo remake I like the Cinderella I don't think it was that bad though neither the what's the other what's the other the 2015 uh, Cinderella remake I didn't think it was that bad of a remake in my mind in my opinion but what's the other remake oh the Beauty, Beauty and the Beast remake I I yeah I still like the remake I didn't think it was that bad though I mean seriously there's other remakes I don't remember though but um but yeah I think the Little Mermaid remake I didn't think it was that bad though I I still I honestly thought it was a pretty good remake though I don't mind some of the stuff to it despite the stuff I don't like about it, but I'm not gonna get to it but um I mean yeah so overall um I don't know if there's other movies from Disney that get bombed. Like, I mean, I know Lightyear got bombed. And I also know that Strange World got bombed. I mean, I like both of these movies, up, but I also do understand why those movies got bombed as well. So, I mean, I like the the Lightyear movie. I, I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was um, that bad either. I like the Lightyear movie, the spinoff Toy Story film. But, oh, it's not really a Toy Story movie, but it's a spinoff, so. But I do like it regardless, so. I even like, I mean, I kind of like Strange World, though, but. I mean, I quite liked it, though. I, I didn't think it was that bad, either, but. Now, Turning Red, I didn't think it was that bad, though. I thought it was okay, in my mind, in my opinion. Excuse me, in my opinion, though. I didn't think it was that bad. But, yeah. I will guarantee, I think The Little Mermaid is probably going to be the last live-action one for me to like, though. I mean, I know Mr. Grizzly. I know that's Mr. Grizzly's, um last movie that he likes though but but it's probably gonna be the same thing as me too though so <clears throat> I mean but I mean people someone that I know just thinks I'm copying people's opinions but that's not true because people has the same way you know 
they have same ways, same feelings, same opinions, okay? That don't mean that we're people's copy other people, okay? That don't that don't mean that way, okay? I mean seriously just just grow up. I mean gee. But anyway, I'm not gonna get to it though, but I'm just trying to think. I think this all to say about the Little Mermaid remake. I, I like I said, I do like it. If you don't like it or hate it, then that's perfectly fine. I respect your opinion. I so so more so yeah. But yeah, I I do like it though. Um, I understand people will hate some other remakes, other movies nowadays from Disney though. But I mean, if you want to see something new from Disney, I mean, just go watch the Owl House because that's the only cartoon show from Disney from the from this decade, the twenty twenties decade that I like nowadays. But the other ones I have no I have no interest watching, you know. But um, yeah, so. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh yes, of course I love the Mandalorian um series. Yeah, the Star Wars series. Yeah, I do like the Mandalorian. Um What else? Yeah, the Book of Boba Fett, I think it was pretty decent though. Except for Aldora, I have not yet seen yet though, but um even the new Masoka uh, yeah, Ahsoka show, Star Wars show, I have not seen it either, but you know, I remember loving the Star Wars The Clone Wars series too, though, but... But, um, anyway. That's... I think that's all I have to say about this. Oh, I, I don't know. I, so I'm just playing with that, um, thank you. But, anyway. I think that's all I have to say about this review, though. That's all I have to say, though. There's nothing more I can say about it. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. And hope you guys have a wonderful day. And, and yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There's one more thing. Before I end the video, though, there's something I will say. Now, Flounder the Fish, believe it or not, before the movie, I think before the movie came out, I heard complaints from parents saying that the kids were. I heard it from Google, saying the kids were scared that the live action version of Flounder. I'm like, I mean, saying that it looks looks a bit scary that I saw on Google. I'm like, what? I mean, I mean, the live action of Flounder did look all that scary to me. I mean, gee. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I don't think the I don't think the live action version of Flounder didn't look all that scary to me though. I think I think it looks like a I think it looks decent looking though. I didn't think it looked that bad though. Despite what saying that they're saying that the that the kids are scared with that live action version of Flounder. You know, I just saw on Google about months ago, so but yeah. Of course it's not as great as good as the original though, but yeah, I love the original though, except I haven't I only watched the original once, though, believe it or not, growing up. I only watched it once, though, but I've never watched it. I just, for some reason, I just hadn't watched it again, though, but, um, I don't know why, but I just didn't, though, but, um, but, yeah. But the original was a classic. I don't think I have seen the sequel to The Little Mermaid, though. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, in the remake, I... I think it was a pretty good remake though it's not as good as the original but i still like the remake okay i mean so yeah anyway you guys um thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later and hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys next time peace